Hey guys, I wanted to talk about distractions. I haven't really seen this covered anywhere online, but I think it's really important in the world of remote post-pandemic working that we're all doing now. As you may have noticed, I don't even have a door, so it's especially important for me. Here's how to treat distractions. You have to consider the fact that we're all staring at a little mosaic of screens, and if a naked toddler runs through one of them, it's gonna disrupt the meeting. The best thing for you to do is to, in a very small way, acknowledge it for that person. John, do you need to go take care of that? That gives them the opportunity to tell you, nope, we're good, or yeah, I'll be right back. For example, you might be able to hear my dog click clacking in the background and now walking through that door. This was not planned, but it was worth acknowledging because everybody has stopped thinking about what I'm saying and started wishing for the dog to come back. If they leave, then what you should do is continue the meeting. If you pause for that one person to come back, it gives everybody else an opportunity to get distracted, to have their own kids run through the frame. You're gonna wind up with this cumulative effect so that when John does come back, you're never gonna be able to herd all the cats together again so that they can actually get the meeting going. Now, if you continue the meeting, what do you do once John returns? You ask him if everything was okay, you give him, in as few words as possible, a recap of what he missed. John, Tim asked a great question about X, Y, and Z. It won't affect anything for our plans. We're going to move forward and stick to the timeline. John's then able to say, that's great, thanks, or ask more questions on that topic if he wants. But it means that you're not going to have to go back over information everybody else has heard unless John has something specific that requires you to go back over it so that everybody can have the conversation from a new standpoint. Hope this was helpful. <laughs> if it was, leave some comments below if you have other questions that you'd like to ask on this topic. If there's other topics you'd like me to cover, suggest some of those too. I'm going to go see what my dog needs.